When it comes to warships, what usually catches the most attention are the large and powerful vessels like frigates and destroyers. And yes, I also really like these ships, however, there is a multitude of smaller and lesser known vessels that are incredibly interesting, and perhaps one of the best examples of this is the Norwegian Skjold class. The word Skjold in Norwegian means shield, which aptly represents the function of these ships designed to keep enemies away from the coast. Although classified by some as corvettes, with only 47 meters in length and less than 300 tons displacement, the Skjold class is closer to missile fast attack craft. Its catamaran type hull is built with a mixture of composite materials such as glass and carbon fiber, and was designed to reduce radar signature, including the application of electromagnetic wave absorbing material, just like stealth planes. Also, part of the hull is an inflatable mattress system that is activated to reach higher speeds. This combination guarantees a draft of just one meter which reduces hydrodynamic resistance and, at full power of its gas turbines, provides a maximum speed of close to 60 knots, the equivalent of 108 km per hour, and which makes Skjold the fastest warship in the world. However, besides this combination of high speed and low RCS, the Skjold is also well armed for its size. Its main gun armament consists of an Italian Odo Malara 76mm super rapid cannon, capable of firing up to 120 rounds per minute, with a maximum range of 40 km using special volcano ammunition against surface targets, or about 5 km against aerial targets in point defense. Additionally, there are secondary small caliber machine guns. The most distinctive feature of the Skjold's armament, however, lies in its anti-ship capability. It is equipped with eight NSM missiles housed in two quad launchers concealed in the hull to minimize radar signature, with launch occurring through hatch opening. These missiles feature a stealthy design and are guided by a passive infrared imaging system. Unlike radar-guided anti-ship missiles, the NSM emits no signals that could trigger radar alert systems of the targets. This missile is propelled by a small turbine and its range is approximately 180 kilometers, with a subsonic flight profile close to the sea. This combination of a small RCS, low flight, and passive guidance system makes the NSM a very difficult weapon to counter. The NSM also incorporates a GPS navigation system, enabling its use against land targets. With a 120 kilogram warhead, it can inflict serious damage on most warships as well as coastal installations. According to some sources, MANPADS launchers are also carried on board for close-in defense against aircraft. In terms of electronics, it features a medium-range 3D main radar, fire control radar for the cannon, as well as electronic warfare systems and countermeasure launchers. It's worth noting that countermeasures are even more effective in protecting a low RCS target like the Skjold compared to a larger warship with a larger radar signature. The Skjold class manages to combine a series of characteristics at a low cost that, when added together, transform it into a deadly vessel. She has an RCS low enough to appear on enemy radars as a small fishing boat, is extremely fast and is armed with one of the best anti-ship missiles available in the world. In short, she can attack and run away before her presence is even noticed. Its weak point is its autonomy, which is only 800 nautical miles, which is equivalent to around 1,500 kilometers, but this is not a big problem for a ship that was designed from the beginning to operate close to the coast on short missions. With six units built, Skjold is certainly a fearsome adversary for any country threatening the Norwegian coast. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.